This video contains an emergency action message from the United States Air Force, which will be used in case of a nuclear attack on the United States. The United States uses what is called the High Frequency Global Communications System, HFGCS, for operational requirements, military requirements, but it will also be used in case of a nuclear attack. The system is tested often and these drills is what can be heard on shortwave. Just a note about my video, all these pictures I show are public domain images in the United States, so nothing is secret and everything is shown here quite legally. These messages can be sent to, among others, the White House Communications Agency, Joint Chiefs of Staff, which are these people that you see here currently, the current Joint Chiefs of Staff, Air Mobility Command, Air Combat Command, and various other U.S. agencies, as well as to B-52 bomber crews, to submarines, and to nuclear missile crews around the United States. The B-52s, like the one that you can see here, have been updated with modern avionics and can be used to carry nuclear missiles. These planes are big enough to do that. U.S. submarines, like this one, patrol under the seas for three months at a time in readiness for if a nuclear attack were to occur. There are also 45 nuclear launch sites around the U.S. who will receive messages like these. So if a message is sent, and you will hear in this video what it sounds like, then there is a checklist that the crew need to follow before launching, and the launch crew, among other things, must also each unlock a padlock with a secret combination code. Various officers in different locations must then initiate the launch after receiving an authentication code. So, if there were ever to be an order to launch nuclear missiles, it would sound something like this message that I received on shortwave. It is 8992 kilohertz USB. The time is 2053 UTC, 2253 my local time. These messages are quite random, so there's no specific time when they will be heard. They are mostly drills. This one is obviously just a drill as well. It starts with a preamble that identifies who the message is sent to. And then you can clearly hear message starts and then it is read in the NATO alphabet code. And at the end, the, there is a call sign for who is sending the message and out. There is an echo. This is because the message is being sent from various transmitters all around the world. So in case of a nuclear war, one or two of these transmitters will still be working. That's the thinking behind that. But currently, all the transmitters send the message, so that is why there is an echo that you can hear quite clearly in this recording. Yeah. <laughs> 